blessed are. Matthew chapter 5, verse 3 to 11. When we first read the statement of Jesus, they seem wonderfully simple and unstartling, and they sink unnoticed into our subconscious minds. For instance, the Beatitudes initially seem to be merely soothing and beautiful precepts for overly spiritual and seemingly useless people, but of very little practical use in the rigid, fast-paced workdays of the world in which we live. We soon find, however, that the P attitudes contain the dynamite of the Holy Spirit, and they explode when the circumstances of our lives cause them to do so. When the Holy Spirit brings to our remembrance one of the Beatitudes, we say, what a startling statement that is. Then we must decide whether or not we will accept the tremendous spiritual upheaval that will be produced in our circumstances if we obey his words. That is the way the Spirit of God works. We do not need to be born again to apply the Sermon on the Mount literally. The literal interpretation of the Sermon on the Mount is as easy as child play. But the interpretation by the Spirit of God as He applies our Lord's statement to our circumstances is the strict and difficult work of a saint. The teachings of Jesus are all out of proportion when compared to our natural way of looking at things. And they come to us initially with astonishing discomfort. We gradually have to confirm our work and conversation to the precepts of Jesus Christ as the Holy Spirit applies them to our circumstances. The Summer on the Mount is not a set of rules and regulations. It is a picture of the life we will live when the Holy Spirit is having His unhindered way with us.